Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And uh, all that good stuff. Um, we're doing a project currently, right now, as we speak. Even before I started recording. But uh, I wanted to share that with y'all. and Because uh, it's... Uh, one of the craziest things that a professional landscaper could do is dig a big hole in the middle of their yard. And I'll show you why. Ooh, yeah, look at that dandy. We got a white cedar tree. And we're gonna be planting that in the backyard right now. Um, so I gotta see if I can pull the wagon and not to uh, not have that fellow fall down um i'm just gonna have to stop recording because i cannot hold my phone and do this at the same time so just a minute all right we're back here in the backyard and it's kind of a jungle at the moment um but i did just mow this square right here um and it's generally right in the middle of the yard. So I think, and this is kind of, because when I water my yard with my sprinkler, I have to put the sprinkler over there to water that half of the yard. And then it comes to in this area somewhere. And then I have to move it over there and then water that half of the yard. And then it comes to in this area somewhere um so let me uh we need to probably prop this guy up uh we're gonna need some pretty good sticks or something to uh, kind of help this guy sh grow straight up um maybe turn it a little bit because the wind is kind of fighting it a little bit um so i'm gonna grab the measuring tape and we're gonna measure from the house to the fence and we're gonna put it right in the middle um and that'll be close enough so yeah and a long time ago we used to have a tree in the backyard. I will show you where right now. Um, this patch of grass right there, that darker grass, there used to be actually a cedar tree right there. And the reason that there's that dark patch of grass is because that's where the cedar stump was and where we burned it out and I filled that in with boulders and dirt and everything like that. But it was just kind of a kind of a bad location, kind of in the corner, you know, going in the neighbor's yard and kind of over the roof of the garage, uh, etc, etc. So let me set this guy down somewhere in a safer less windy location for now and then uh we continue all right we got the tree over there in the corner not as windy over there and i just measured this um from the measuring tape to the post by the gate is 17 feet to the measuring tape to the house is 17 feet and if we do this right we plant that right where the measuring tape is. It'll be almost perfectly, it's a little bit to the right of the center eave of the house. So it'll be the furthest away from both gutters. There's a little piece of gutter over there, a little piece of gutter over there. And it's, I would say probably 30 feet or so from that fence probably about 30 feet or so from the garage so it's perfectly centered with the yard and you got to plan this stuff out because this is 
permanent and we don't want problems with the roof because of this tree we don't want the gutters filling up with uh, cedar needles and stuff and etc etc but i do like having the tree in the middle of the yard for shade and it'd also be good for the dogs so in the summertime it'll provide shade for the yard the grass won't die um, and we can just keep it pruned up and looking snazzy. So I'm actually going to get some spray paint because I want to mark where my hole is going to be because I'm just going to dig the hole exactly about the size of that pot and nothing more. So then it will it won't destroy a bunch of my um my grass i had some i know i have some spray paint in here but uh i just bought some more black black paint but i think this one this is white so that'll be good and it'll just it'll just be some paint on the grass so Eventually when you mow it in like a month or so You won't be able to see it no more because the grass will grow you'll cut the grass and you won't see the paint no more so It doesn't really matter. It's you know very um, Temporary um, So let's shake this up a bit This can be a how-to video how to spray paint grass haha -ha. so you take your can of spray paint that costs 69 cents from the local Walmart shake it up and then you're gonna spray paint your measuring tape white not I paid like 30 bucks for that I'm not painting that no way but I'm gonna paint the grass around it if the wind will allow me so we're gonna paint a square here but we're not gonna be digging a square so how are we gonna convert this square hole into a round hole hmm so now that's where we're gonna plant the tree right there um cool I don't know if I did my lids over here just throwing stuff everywhere um so now i'm going to dig a hole right there right there yeah snazzy all right this is how you do sod you spray paint a square into the grass and then you cut a circle out of the middle of it and pull it out with your round shovel and then you have a perfectly round hole. Who would have thought? And then this grass right here, it's still good. I can plant that somewhere else in my yard. That is good grass. Look at that hole. Yeah, we've already got it maybe six inches deep. We're gonna need the post hole digger and um, it's gonna have to be pretty deep because the pot this thing in is in is the dirt level is about about like that and that's about that's about two feet and i'm actually going to put it a little bit deeper than that so it'll be a couple inches extra of dirt on the top of it so we don't have problems with the roots uh, coming up above ground level and stuff so i'm gonna grab the post hole diggers and we're gonna dig that about two two feet deep maybe a little bit more and we're going to stick that in there and it's going to be happy um i was hiding my post hole diggers behind my my rain gear there i was doing some weed eating in the rain the other day because every landscaper knows that it's harder to mow in the rain Unless you have like really, really nice, expensive equipment. Hey buddy, how you doing, good boy? 
Um, so you need really, really fancy, expensive equipment to mow in the rain. But weeding, you could weed eat in the snow if you wanted to and it wouldn't really affect nothing. Um, so I can't hold this while I'm digging this hole, so I'll have to pause y'all and continue momentarily. Oh yeah, and I was going to do some kind of thing where I was going to be like, I'm going to dig a hole right there. Right there. And I've got a hole. Whoops, I didn't want to put dirt on my grass. But I got a hole pretty deep already. So I think that's about... That's about two feet. So, we're looking good. We're gonna take that pot, stick it in there and see how it looks. All right, there we go. And it's uh, just like I wanted, about an inch, inch and a half below ground level. So I'm gonna put a little bit of soil on top of that. And, um, and then we're going to water it and I I dug the hole pretty much perfect so there's really no gap there's just a tiny bit of gap around it but it's pretty it's pretty solid in there um, so we'll just let it do its magic and kind of settle make itself at home and we'll be looking pretty good I'm going to scoop a soil here I think we're gonna grab a grab a two by four and we're gonna uh, kind of prop it up on the one side because it's kind of leaning uh, one way a little bit so it needs a little bit of assistance to be nice and straight up and down and uh, we'll just kind of let this soil sit here be kind of loose we'll water it in and it'll kind of settle make itself comfortable because that's what we want it to do we want it to be happy comfortable kick off its shoes make itself at home so now all we got to do is give it some water i think i'm going to stick a two by four maybe kind of down here and then kind of put it up in this in this corner kind of hold it up like this so it's a little straighter and then uh, let it grow so I'm gonna pause y'all I'm gonna stick this sod in the wheelbarrow I'm gonna go get the hose and then we're gonna water it all right I know you're thirsty drink up little buddy drink up and this will kind of help get the, the dirt down in there and everything yeah let that settle soak in um, we need a piece of a piece of wood of some sort kind of prop prop them up a little bit uh, let's see what we can find and then we have some wire here we need to set up so we didn't need nothing too crazy big maybe just I think one of these um, extra extra two by fours would be good from uh, the wall rack project yeah and then we're gonna need a, a zip tie So this looks like it'll be good. We'll just put it right, right under his arm here. Right, kind of like a, kind of like a crutch. I 
there we go. I just got a crutch. He's a little bit more upright. Um, we're gonna stick that cage around him. It's a little windy right now, but he'll sway a little bit. But that two by four help hold him up. Uh, um, let's let's grab a zip tie because we need to put this wire up here because Buddy is a male male puppy and he likes to to pee on stuff and we aren't really wanting him to uh to pee on our new our new tree here so we got this wire i should be able to keep him from peeing on it uh let's see maybe i can go through this door and find a zip tie fairly quickly it's what I don't like about most youtubers is they always edit out stuff like this where they're going to get more tools or they're doing something um, that's you know real like I had to come and get this zip tie I didn't have it in this mystery box magic box that just anything appears that you need in it there's no such thing this is real life. I'm not going to edit this out because this is the way I actually did it. And I want to share that with you. I'm not hiding nothing. If I have to make five trips to the garage to uh, get different tools and stuff, that's fine. It's just the way it is. Um, so let's get this screen here. around our tree buddy our little tree buddy kind of like that a little bit more this way kind of like that it's nice because the grass is kind of tall so we can uh Kind of just set this wherever, wherever we want it, and it'll generally stay. So we're gonna want it to be almost as big as we can, as we can make it. I think that'll be good there. We're gonna need a couple more zip ties. So guess what, we're gonna to have to go back to the garage and get more zip ties. But like I said, this is real life. And I'm not gonna edit this out because this is the way we're actually doing it. one zip tie on there so let's get let's get three more just to be certain that they ain't going nowhere maybe just one more zip tie really so we don't need a crazy amount of zip ties on it uh, so we'll just grab one more and then we'll conclude the video so like every youtuber says in every one of their videos if you like the video, please smash the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Please consider sharing the video with a friend or family member you think may like the video. And consider leaving a nice comment down below. Yeah. You know why? Because this is YouTube. It is not Hollywood. And that's kind of what irritates me a little bit. Is that a lot of these youtubers they try to make their YouTube channels too much like Hollywood
Um, apologies for not being able to see this part, but I just had to uh, get that zip tie on there so I can so I can tighten it up. Yeah, I'll use my foot to help show you what we're what we're doing. There we go. There we go. Tighten this one up a little more. There we go. Now we have a nice little cage around it. So if Buddy tries to pee on it, he won't be able to. Because I don't think he can pee that far. And that precise. So it should be safe. So yeah, there we go. The sun kind of keeps getting in our shot and making it so we can't really see, but there we go. So we'll keep giving you updates on the cedar tree and uh, we'll keep doing mowing videos and etc. etc. I hope you enjoyed. So uh, take care, always be kind, always have faith, always be respectful, honest, and uh, always do the right thing. Take care. Later. Peace.